Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Pridwin. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go inside the Cambridge Police Station. Paladin Dance is waiting for you inside. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship? I've never seen anything like it. Amazing. Isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that were both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. We'll follow Dance in just a moment. First, we're going to come over here. We're going to come over Very to this foolish. safe and we're going to lockpick it. Some pretty questionable things to stay. Nice. And then right here, we have a Guns and Bullets magazine. This magazine only shows up after the Brotherhood of Steel has come to the Commonwealth. So if the Brotherhood of Steel hasn't come to the Commonwealth in your game yet, you will not be able to get this magazine. Bye. Now let's go ahead and go to the top and meet up with Paladin Dance. Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge responsibility. But we'll get the job done. We're gonna hop on the vertebird. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. I love riding in the vertebrates. So cool. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're going to need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. We're on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. We're finally almost to the Pridwin. By the way, you don't have to have this third person view if you don't want to. You can hit the middle pad, get a first person view. Right over there, you can build a settlement. As soon as we talk to Elder Maxon, we'll be able to build a settlement there. At least if you want to, you can. There she is. It's 
been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. And what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch-up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Let's head inside the Pridwin command deck. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute's scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion 
that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium! Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Now we can use that workshop down there in the airport to make it a settlement. Let's go to our data, make sure we have Shadow of Steel on. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Proctor Ingram said she needed the suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just... What if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. You're gonna listen to a couple of holotapes? Everything holding together? Trust me. You know. Personal Good. log, entry uh, 142. Firing! I can sum up right, living on the right. Pridwin in four words. And you didn't I miss that. field Thanks, initiates. Sure. Don't get me wrong. The research we're doing is exciting stuff. Oh but life on this ship is a nightmare. I'm trapped in this metal tube 18 hours a day. I still can't decide who smells worse. You know what it the soldiers or the mole rats. And what passes for conversation among the grunts makes mutants right seem by. scholarly. All right, all right. Just I'm gonna speak to Proctor Quinn. Okay. Field scribes cannot have it allowed near the instrumentation. Just looting while we're listening to some hollow tapes. Unless you like getting radiation sickness, I'd stay away from ferals. You know, before getting shipped to the Commonwealth, I thought Elder Lion still had some good points. The Brotherhood in the Capital Wasteland, they were about helping. But this assignment, it's opened my eyes. On the flight here, we passed city after city. Buildings taller than I've ever seen. Some that nearly clipped the Man, ugly. They weren't always and like that. And who uses them now? Super mutants were regular mutants. people like you and me. Freaks. Institute science Seeing all that destruction, whoa, whoa, whoa. tens of millions dead, me, brought on by technology run amok, it made Why? it so Qualify. clear. Elder Max is right. The Those wasteland needs might look to be apart, cleansed. But if you ask and me, we're the ones to the do Institute it. is the real monster. Let's go find Paladin Dance. So how did it look out there? Unless you like getting shot, never turn your Paladin. A there you are. How did it go with I Elder Max? My orders from Elder Max. I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. No Without his determination. We'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, 
You need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. I really should have my armor adjusted while I'm here. Just got a level. Let's go ahead and put a level in real quick. We're gonna put it into bloody mess. Then we have one more. One more level and then... Mm, you know what? No. I don't think we'll do the um, fourth one. Just because it's really not that important. So maybe we'll move on to doing science next because we need science and toughness so toughness should be right here you know I, I was like is it strength or is it endurance so we'll do toughness and we'll do science we'll split between them so one into science one into toughness one into science one into toughness and we'll keep flip flopping back and forth until uh, those are maxed out Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to another hollow tape. Medical report, Knight Captain Cade reporting. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore exceedingly dangerous. Good to see I'm you again, Knight. Anything I can do to help? Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, 
I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. So that's just a repeatable quest that he gave us. You can find technical documents, bring them back to him, and he'll give you caps for them. The Pridwin is a magnificent there, try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it... I can fix it. You're the one who so, you're your the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. There it is. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell. I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. So right here, if you want your own Brotherhood of Steel power armor, this is a free set of power armor they'll give you. I'm gonna leave it there for now. I'll bring it back to Sanctuary later. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. So you can do repeatable quests for Proctor Tegan as well? Let's go report back to Maxon. Lancer Captain Kells is one of the finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. Grab this stuff real quick. Advictorium night. Tighten up the meter like that. Now split the difference. Half. 
now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Let's board the Vertibird. It's going to take us down to the airport. I find it a little dumb you got a new that we yeah, get taken down to the <laughs> airport by a Vertibird to Beat take a Vertibird over guard. to You're Fort kidding. Strong. Why didn't we just take a vertebrate from the Pridwin? I don't know. Come out here. Take a right. These people are going to be doing target practice. It's going to hit our vertebrate. Hopefully our vertebrate doesn't crash because it's half dead because they're doing target practice right next to it. Real smart. Death from above. It's the only way to fly. Welcome aboard, Knight. Instruments are green, and we're cleared for release. Dance likes it when you modify weapons, armor, get invertebrates, you're nice, helpful, stuff like that. We're going to be taking down a super mutant behemoth. This should give us a trophy for taking down four uh, giant enemies or uh, massive enemies. I, I don't know how it's described. I think it's like just giant enemies. We're going to hop off of here, take out the super mutants. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt. Oh, there he is. Stop throwing Molotovs at me, you son of a bitch. Everywhere. Okay, so far so good. Besides that almost death there for a moment. We're 
We're going to crouch. We're going to turn on our pit boy lamp and go inside Fort Strong Armory. So, watch your boy. step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Wish a bucket head would show up. I need to let it clean off. Huh? What's that? Someone. Ah! Take out the super mutants in here. They're not too hard. Shouldn't struggle too much in here. If you've been following the walkthrough, you should be a fairly high level at this point. Who's there? Long live Who's the there? This area seems to be in disarray. Wow, four mini nukes? Okay, thank you. That's it. Lock pick this door. Grab another mini nuke. And then we're gonna pick Judging up the, the US covert press. operations safe manual. To assume we're the first people to yes. To investigate this location and then we're going to grab the fort strong key this just allows you to open up all the locked doors in fort strong got to grab that skull We'll check if there's any technical documents, but overall, it's a repeatable quest, and it never really ends. It's not the end of the world if you don't find any. You usually find them in desks and stuff like that. File cabinets, desks. Careful, we're gonna have a super mutant with the rocket launcher. Hold up. I think we're being stalked. <laughs> Don't try and run on that leg. Nice try. Oh. Hey, you oh. have a survives this, and it won't be you. Oh. 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 Okay, with the rocket launcher, I think is hiding. To the last man. Or we killed him. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. 
It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Paladin Dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. So make sure that you talk to Paladin Dance to get him to join your party again. Or else he's going to walk off and go back to the Pridwin. If you don't want him in your party, then don't worry about it. Also, be careful. This, I don't know, engine or whatever it is. I have no clue. Um, it will cause radiation buildup. Let's head out of Fort Strong and go back to the Pridwin. Go to our pit boy, go over to our map, and then we'll fast travel over to the Pridwin. Let's go talk to Elder Maxon. Charging into a situation, guns blazing is a good way. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit board to interface with the pilot's navigation system so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? I'd pursue your lead regarding Dr. Amari. I'm not certain if she's a crackpot, or if she can genuinely assist your search, but our sources say she has some interesting technology at her disposal. Anything else, Knight? What about those energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected? Our scribes are confident that the energy readings are from Institute technology, due to the unusually high frequency. But the source is unknown. We're still detecting them on occasion. But by the time we set a team to investigate, they disappear. Just watch your step. I wouldn't be surprised if the energy reading were caused by some type of Institute weapon. Is there anything else? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility, the Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? 
Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Commonwealth looks bad. You should see the capital wasteland. Let's head down to the airport and end the video. Alrighty, everyone, this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.